What is up everyone? I'm eight weeks post ACL reconstructive surgery and right now I'm on my way to have stem cell therapy done at the stem medical clinic here in Belgrade, Serbia. And I've really, really, really been looking forward to doing this because I've been doing a lot of reading about stem cell therapy and listening to a lot of podcasts about it. And I've been in contact with the doctor. We've been speaking back and forth for a while and I'm really excited to do this to see what it can do for my recovery. So right now we're in the car. We'll be there in about 15 minutes. Let's just enjoy the ride and uh, take it from there. Okay, so we're here, we're right outside actually. This is just around the corner. And I must say I'm a bit nervous because I don't know anyone that's ever done this before. And the only thing that you can do is Google it and see what people say about it. So I'm a bit shaky, you know? We're about to step inside the clinic and talk to the doctor and to hear what, what we have planned for today. Let's go. Okay, uh, a bit long, of a mess. I no, I, I mean, on our way here, it was pretty long. We're traveling from Gothenburg, so it's. Uh, How about right. the borders and this COVID situation? No it's problem. okay. We had the PCR test to, oh, come, okay. to come into Serbia. They just waved us in. We showed it, and they were like, okay. Tell me about your problem. So what I did was, I years ago, I mean years ago, I've been training with a with a torn ACL mm -hmm. for a, okay. for for a quite a few years actually. The first thing was during wrestling. I had my leg bent like this and it was trapped like a triangle okay. and a big guy, like a 90 kilo CrossFit guy, he just exploded and my knee just went pop, like a okay. twig twisting. Mm -hmm. I didn't go to the doctor, of course, I kept training, I took like two weeks off and then I figured, okay, I can walk again. So I kept training two or three times like that and it just got worse and worse. I kept competing, kept fighting with it and uh, one day in sparring, I just took a step back and my knee totally collapsed. I looked it up, it was a torn ACL. That is when I contacted you. Yep. Uh, I didn't know if I needed surgery or not. That was my, f it was in desperation when I wrote to you. So you did surgery, I know, but yes. did, uh, corrective uh, surgery. Yeah, eight weeks ago today, actually. Eight weeks ago, we did uh, reconstructive surgery. The surgery was a success, no damage to the meniscus, and uh, we did a hamstring graft. Okay, uh, so uh, the plan, the plan is like, uh, yeah, to get From, back. Yeah, maybe, no, no for two of us. I, two of us, yeah. <laughs> what, did, uh, what, did, what did you say? Maybe. I saw your, your uh, story. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe a low kick or something. <laughs> Basically, you tore your, uh, your cross ligament. Yes. Yeah? And uh, when you tear a ligament in that way, you usually damage your cartilage. The yeah. problem with damaged cartilage is that damage expands. Right. So if you do nothing about it, yeah. it, it will expand too much yeah. and your uh, movements will be shortened. You won't be able to bend your knee fully. Yeah. You will have pain climbing up the stairs, yeah. like doing some everyday stuff, not to mention training. So yeah. Yeah. You are very young. So that is why you have to take care of your uh, uh, cartilage because it does not regenerate on itself. No. So you have to help it. Right. Uh, what, what we do here, basically, is uh, we have uh, developed a special way of extracting stem cells from, uh, from fat. Right. Uh, it is special because uh, we can extract a large amount of cells. When we finish extracting cells, we do a cell count, a special kind of re report that says how many cells you got and how good those cells are. Basically, the more cells you get, the better the result. So the minimum of the cells is about one to two million for your cartilage. I guess, I hope we'll get more. Uh, the problem with you is that you don't have much fat, unlike me, I have more. <laughs> Taking out your fat will be the biggest problem. Yeah. We take out, we do, uh, that is called a micro, uh, actually mini liposuctions, like uh, 50 to 100 grams of your fat. Then you go, you're free for about five to six hours. During that time, we extract the, fat, the stem cells from that fatty tissue. Yeah. Then you're summoned here for the uh, interarticular injection. 
that is the plan and after that you need to be a little bit less mobile for a few days until those stem cells actually go to where they're supposed to go and then uh, they will do many things they will reduce the inflammation they will speed up the recovery they do that by inducing new blood vessels they induce creation of new blood vessels by some chemistry they have inside they also change some of them become uh, new cartilage okay. in the places where it's damaged okay. and that stops your uh, damage destruction further damage destruction so actually it brings back time to your knee all right it, it makes it younger sounds yeah. good to me yeah well that's the plan and what about the recovery because we spoke about you said something about uh, speeding up the recovery 30 percent 30 about 30 percent there are papers written about this because when you say cartilage regeneration usually people think about older people who have damaged cartilage because of the age yeah, you know? yeah. and that is true but when you do knee surgery, uh, your ligament is uh, changed, which is ruptured, yeah. by usually a part of your muscle or muscle tendon. Yeah. Yeah. And now that muscle tendon goes through some stages. First, it's, it's the strongest in the moment when you put it in the, in the knee. Yeah. Yeah. Then partially it uh, dissolves yeah. because it has no blood vessels at the beginning. Nothing feeds it. Okay. You know? yeah. And then after a while, new blood vessels show and you have a new, like a new tendon. The point is to uh, make, it, make it faster to make blood vessels to feed that new tendon yeah. and the places where it is uh, screwed to the uh, thigh or, or the lower leg. So ba know? basically to stop it from getting yeah. weaker. Yes, to stop it from getting okay. weird. And the papers were written, the tests were done on lab animals. First they cut the ligament, then they created new ligament. Uh, part of those animals were treated with stem cells and part wasn't. And the ligament that was treated with stem cells yeah. was at least 30% stronger than the ligament that wasn't torn, okay. that wasn't treated. These are the papers that, that you can find on the internet on PubMed. Yeah. I've been interested in doing stem cells for a while. The, the second that my physiotherapist told me that my ACL was torn, uh, that is when I got onto the computer and started Googling, found your name, and I thought that we speak the same language. I come here on vacation, and yeah. I've, I've had a beautiful experience so far. I think it's our fourth time in Belgrade. Yeah, every time we go to Bosnia, we go to Belgrade as well. She's from Belgrade, so it's routine. We yeah, come well, every time. You, sh you shouldn't miss it. We're that close. Uh, what do we do now? Now we go to the operating theater yeah. and we do the, this uh, my mini uh, liposuction yeah. and the rest of the procedure is as, as we said. So it's, if you're ready, we can go. So All right then. Let's so shall we go? I think so. It's time. <laughs> Follow me. Yeah. So this is the operating theater and uh, we'll prepare uh, everything, all the sterile instruments that we need. Yeah. And then we'll begin. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to film it. Just uh, bye bye to camera and uh, <laughs> here we go. Yeah, see you later. Okay. And it's... Uh, Let's walk. This is what happens when you shoot out in traffic. Anyway, so what they did was they did a liposuction. So I had to wear this beautiful thing to prevent hematomas from forming. And right now it feels like I have the worst muscle soreness ever. I'm not a fan of being sedated. I don't drink alcohol, I don't do drugs, so I'm always sober. So right now it's a, it's a weird feeling for me, you know? In a couple of hours, maybe four or five, we're gonna come back and then the stem cells are gonna be extracted from the fat cells that they took out. Then they're gonna inject it into my knee and uh, the stem cell treatment is gonna be a success. Then we're gonna be done. And then hopefully what this is gonna do is I'm gonna recover faster and the graft that they put in my, my knee is gonna be a lot stronger and better than if I didn't do this stem cell treatment. Hopefully this is gonna allow me to come back to my sport safer and uh, a bit stronger, but I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Uh, so far, so good. It feels good. Just a, just a pleasant experience so far.
right, so we're done. I don't, I don't know why I was so nervous. Usually, I don't like going to the doctors. I don't like needles. I don't like being sedated. But when I came here, my nerves were calmed down. And here's the thing. If you're from any of the ex-Yugoslavia countries, you know what I'm talking about. There's a certain hospitality in these countries, whether you're in Bosnia, where I'm from, or Serbia, or Croatia, wherever. Uh, the hospitality, you, you feel very welcome. I felt the same in this clinic. So when I got here, my nerves calmed down quite a lot, actually. So now that we're done with everything, I feel really, really good. It was completely pain-free. The needle where they put the injection in my knee, I didn't even feel it. It wasn't that bad, considering that they put it in your knee. It wasn't bad at all. Overall, it was a very pleasant experience. Basically, what he told me was that I'll be ready to come back to MMA and I'll be 100% by the end of the year. Just keep doing the, the ordinary rehab. Just stick to the process and, and keep working. I'll be, I'll be back. I'll be back stronger than ever. This is just going to boost my recovery and make that shit bulletproof when I come back. This is never going to be a problem again, hopefully. So the plan right now is just to keep I'm, I'm here for my vacation actually i was in bosnia for a week now we're in serbia then we're gonna head on down to montenegro and uh, see the ocean for the first time in many years and right now the plan is just to keep enjoying belgrade tonight i'm gonna have a nice tomahawk steak and maybe even that you know the wagyu steak i heard they got a mean ass steakhouse here in belgrade that we're gonna go to they're not sponsoring me so i'm not gonna mention them by name but i'm gonna eat their food that's for sure Let's go. Let's go and enjoy this city. <laughs>